All right, so I'm gonna be giving a tip on how you can speed up a video on your iPhone using iMovie. Now this is actually very useful because instead of shortening a video, when you speed it up, it'll actually make it faster and you won't lose any of that video clip. Now the first thing you wanna do here is open the iMovie app and then you wanna select the new project, you wanna click movie. Then you just wanna select whatever clip that you wanna make go faster. Now when you're on the video editing page after you've added it, you're gonna see an option at the bottom. You just wanna click and it's gonna be the editing tool. That's what's gonna appear. Now when you click the editing tool, you're gonna to see a speed button. It's gonna be in yellow. Now it looks like a speedometer. Now in order to make the video faster, you just wanna drag it towards the right and you're gonna be able to do it up to two times the normal speed of whatever it was. So now when you do this, like I said, it's gonna get the whole video in there, but it's gonna make it shorter because it's gonna be going faster. Now 2X is the most you can do on iMovie, but honestly, 2X is pretty significant as far as like the speed goes. And of course, on the opposite side of this, if you wanted to short, I'm sorry, make a video go uh, slower, you can make it go in slow motion by you know doing the opposite thing. So instead of dragging the speedometer forward, you could make it go backwards and then it'll make the video go in slow motion and then it'll just make it go longer as well. Then if you just wanna make it normal again, you could do that by moving the speedometer to the middle. But this is useful, you know, especially if you're trying to maybe upload something to Instagram and you want to get under a minute, but you don't want to lose any of the video clip, TikTok, something like that. And then when you're done, you could just save your video, click the save option at the bottom and then, you know, click done or export and then it'll, uh, it'll save it up for you. Anyways, guys, just a quick tip. I thought this might be useful for some of you out there that are ever trying to get a video under a certain time after you've recorded it, but you don't want to lose any of that video. All right. Thanks for watching this guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching it and we'll see you in the next one.